Hi everyone, this is the Hungry Math Professor here, and today I want to talk about uh, Thomas Kuhn's idea in the structure of scientific revolutions of normal science versus revolutionary science. And to illustrate this idea, I'm going to use the example of Newtonian Newton's theory of gravity versus Einstein's theory of gravity. And for Kuhn, he says that every field of science eventually sort of chooses a paradigm. So let's just use an example like Newton's theory of gravity. And once the field coalesces around and agrees about a paradigm like Newton's theory of gravity, uh, they enter a period of what he calls normal science. And during this period of normal science, they don't question the foundation of the paradigm itself. Instead, they go into a period of what he calls puzzle solving, where they assume the paradigm is correct, and they are going to try to improve the paradigm as much as they can. So that could involve like estimating certain fundamental constants better and better and better. It could involve like uh, addressing certain theoretical issues with what the paradigm uh, seems to predict or maybe coming up with better solutions to the PDEs and differential equations that show up in the, the theory. And basically during this period of normal science, you just get more and more detail for the theory and more and more precise estimates and you just kind of keep tinkering and just kind of getting more better and better uh, uh, theory. And eventually he argues that as you study the history of science, anytime this happens, eventually the theory gets so precise that it starts to, uh, anomalies start to present themselves that the theory doesn't handle very well. And when enough anomalies present themselves in the theory, the field starts to question whether that paradigm is correct and they enter into a period of revolutionary science. So in the case of Newtonian theory of gravity, for instance, uh, velocities are supposed to be additive in Newton's theory of gravity, but uh, they began to notice that light seemed to always travel at the same speed, and that, that was puzzling, didn't really make sense in Newton's theory of gravity, and other anomalies were uh, present, and so they go into this period of revolutionary science, and so in this example, Einstein starts to come up with some different ideas. He presents uh, special relativity and then general relativity. And Kuhn argues that these two theories have a hard time speaking to each other. And depending on which paradigm you find yourself in, you can argue for it, you know, either paradigm. Um, and so uh, eventually so there, the, the community needs to pick a new paradigm. And usually there's some impressive experiments or uh, impressive sort of theory or, or beautiful ideas. And and eventually the community decides to choose a new paradigm and then a new period of normal science occurs.